So nothing substitutes for faith, not even love. And we read in 1 Corinthians 13, 13, now abide these three, faith, hope, and love. The greatest of these is love. We know that love lasts forever, that God is love, but it still won't substitute. It won't be a, a, an effective substitute for faith. And so uh, the one we're talking about today would be head faith versus heart faith. That means if you go to Mark 11, 23, let's just read that scripture. Mark 11, 23, Jesus said, For assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. And so you can see here that one of the most important components to faith is believing in the heart. Not just believing, not just agreeing, not just thinking it's so, but believing in the heart. And that's a little different than just agreeing with a message or agreeing with a scripture or memorizing a scripture. We, we need to understand that just because we have a scripture memorized or several scriptures memorized on a certain topic, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're believing that in our heart. Uh, it's be, it goes, you know, deeper than that. Uh, there are some people who are going through the motions of faith. They're practicing the principles of faith the way they've been taught, but it's not any more than an intellectual process. And for faith to work, it's got to be heart faith. It's got to be an inward conviction. And we define faith as an inward conviction and an outward expression. You really need to have both. One of the ways to test this is Romans 8, 16, where it says the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Well, the, your spirit is your heart. It's not your head. Your spirit's not your head. It's not your mind. It's your heart. And God's spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are a child of God. If you're a child of God, how do you know this? Now, you do have an intellectual understanding probably by now that you are a child of God. And your head probably agrees with your heart when it comes to this issue. However, you believe that you're a child of God. You don't just think it. You have an, a, an understanding, a heart conviction that you are a child of God and nobody can talk you out of that. They can't argue and give you enough facts. You know, when, when your convictions are simply intellectual, they're simply mental, then if somebody gives you enough facts and enough proof and enough physical evidence, they can change your mind. But when there's heart faith, it cannot be changed with facts, figures. It cannot be changed with anything natural because it goes beyond the intellectual. It goes beyond science. It goes beyond. And this is why, you know, it's, it, some of our children, they, they go off to college and they get so confused. They get so messed up if they're not truly grounded in the Word. And when we talk about being grounded in the Word, we're talking about having the Word in your heart where it is an inward conviction, where there is no doubt in your heart about, about the principles of God, that God exists and that God saves and that God heals and that God's a supernatural God and that miracles are for today and all of the things that we believe and preach. When you get into the intellectual realm, your mind can be swayed. Your, your mind can be changed. You can be influenced by facts, by by experts, by professors, but when you, when you have the conviction in your heart, when you believe in your heart something, it is solid, it is secure, it's not going anywhere. In fact, and we're going to get into this later, but there are many times that your head and your heart don't even agree. There are times when you have doubt in your head, but faith in your heart and, and it'll work because the key here is that we believe in our heart, that we don't doubt in our heart, but we, we believe that those things which we say come to pass. So having heart faith and recognizing the difference between head faith and heart faith, very, very important. It's crucial. And, and I think one of, the, one of the ways that people 
launch out in head faith and don't and and really you know they don't have any success is because they rush it too fast they may be believing god in an area that they're not really uh familiar with maybe they haven't allowed that that truth to really sink down and really get a hold of them uh, they've heard a scripture they 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 agree with it they want you know that healing or they want that victory they want that deliverance they want that manifestation whatever it may be but they really haven't spent any time in that area letting that i'll give i'll tell you that like this uh, as a traveling minister for 30 years you know we traveled and and i traveled from church to church and i had to trust god i didn't have anybody backing me up i didn't have many partners i had nobody underwriting me i mean if i'm going to get paid at the end of the month i got to pay myself from what's left over from my preaching ministry uh, offerings, and and some were some were better, some were not as good, but at the end of the month you got a balance, and and uh, that puts a lot of pressure on you. I didn't have a salary, I didn't have a set, uh, you know, a, a corporation behind me or some employer that's going to pay my paycheck. Consequently. I constantly had to go to the scriptures and believe God. I constantly had to go to 2 Corinthians 9 and Philippians 4.19 and all of the provision scriptures. Man, they became my companions. And there were times when things were tight and, and it didn't look like we were going to make it and didn't look like the money was going to come in. I had to go to the Word of God and, and confess it and meditate on it. And, and, and I had to ask myself, does God really mean this? For me, is this true? I mean, I know God supplies our needs and I know God's done a lot of things for a lot of people, but what about for me right here, right now? And through exercise, and that's one of the keys, uh, not just knowing the word, but confessing it, meditating on it, and exercising it. Through doing this, I became very familiar and very convinced that God is going to take care of me, that he supplies all my need according to his riches and glory. 2 Corinthians 9, 8, uh, that he is able to make all grace abound toward me, not just grace abound toward Christians and help people. No, he's going to make all grace abound toward me, that I always, having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. That simply means he's going to give me enough so that I can give, give some away. I'm not only going to be able to pay my bills, but I'll be able to help someone else and, and have an outflow. And, and over the years, uh, those scriptures became part of my thinking. They're real to me. And, and uh, that area of my life became very strong. And, and, and it's because I had to. I didn't have a salary. I didn't, I didn't work for a company. I didn't have a job, an employer to look to, to, to provide for me. Well, there are areas in my life where I didn't have to do that. And you find out that maybe you've been coasting for a long time and you haven't really been exercising faith, although you believe in these things and you, you believe the, the Word of God in other areas. You've never really had to use it. And then when the need arises, sometimes we rush to go to, to, to get into faith, to pray the prayer of faith, to get our need met. You know, we're Americans, most of us, a lot of us on this program are Americans, and we want it now. We want, we want to get our need met because we got other things to do. You know, I'd like for God to supply my need or, or heal my body or give me that answer or give me that provision uh, by noon because I got a lot to do this afternoon. So, if God, if you could just get that done. And we rush many times and we don't allow the word of god to to connect or to really witness to our heart and 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 we're and we're going through the motions it's head faith visit gregfritz.org to download the mp3s and watch the streaming video for free by entering code free at checkout